Hi, this is Tyson with JavaScript Vignettes, and uh, we're doing a series on uh, getting started with React, and uh, this is the second part of the series, so if you haven't seen the first part, um, it's just kind of an intro to React, and uh, today we're getting into stateless components. So um, in React, there's a few different ways you can make components, um, and uh, two of the most common are stateless and stateful. A stateless component is basically just a function that you can render and um, it basically just renders whatever uh, JSX you give it. So um, if we jump into this uh, into this pin right here. You can see that uh, we're essentially we're just uh, taking these uh, these elements from React Native and uh, for for uh, rendering React Native, I'm actually rendering it on the web right now, so I'm using something called React Native Web. So this allows me to take React Native components and render them on the web. Um, I thought it would be better to teach this way because uh, that we're not going to get bogged down with things like uh, HTML semantics because we're just using uh, components that, that can be shared in both places. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm taking out of React Native, I'm taking these three things. I'm taking the app registry. This is uh, used whenever we want to register our, our application so that we can render it. So we're basically just render, we're registering it as a uh, component and calling it app. And then we're uh, running the application. Um, we also take the text and the view. Um, these are two different components from React Native that uh, we're using right here and right here. And so these um, are essentially just, uh, they, they could be either classes or functions. Um, and they basically just let us uh, compose things together with them. So you see we have a text and a view here. But um, for example, if we wanted to make this Hello World example its own component, we could uh, take this and say we'll make a new function called Hello World. And um, we're just going to return these two things. And so inside of our app now, we can actually call this hello world component. And it renders just like it did before. But you see what it, we did here is we actually have now um, in our JSX, we're using an, a uh, component that we just created called hello world. And so we're able to render this from our app, even though um, uh, using using JSX, even though it's just a component that we just created, and so um, this is a lot of stuff you're going to see in React and React Native is that you're going to be basically putting a lot of lower level components together to make more uh, more complex components. Um, but the idea, of course, is that you want to keep your components really simple, as, as simple as you possibly can, because you don't want to have a lot of uh, cruft in, inside your components, and it's better to have something with a very small API that um, does a specific thing, and then you kind of compose them together near the top of your application. Okay, so that's basically um, we, we just you know put together um, a, a a little bit of JSX, and we are you see here it's rendering and saying hello world, so we know that it actually worked. Um, in React Native, you have to you have to wrap any text you have with uh, the text component. In the web, you don't have to necessarily do this. You could just um, have you know a div component or something like that. So you know, I could I could actually just like do something like this, div, and I would essentially get the same thing. But uh, in React Native, you have to wrap uh, text with with a text component, and then view is more. Um, if you're coming from a web perspective, it's more more like a div, and text is more like a span because. Uh, View is kind of block level, and text is a uh, is a kind of an inline component. So there we have um, our basic little example, um, and we're going to jump back here. And uh, our next example is passing props. So I'm going to jump into this. So you see here, we're basically um, we have our app, and you see this. Uh, this is kind of the same thing we just did with creating a component that we're using inside of another of our components. And so I made a component called greeting, and I'm passing in a prop. This prop is called salutation, and uh, it's and I'm just saying good afternoon. Um, you can see that it's 
the right prop because I just changed it with some exclamation points and it's uh, it's uh, re-rendering. And so um, here inside my greeting, um, I have as the uh, first argument of this function, I have this uh, object called props. And so this is all the props I'm passing in. And so I'm taking uh, props dot salutation and rendering that. And so um, and so then you can tell that uh, it's it's rendering what I just passed in and saying good afternoon um, because it's been passed from this component into that component. And uh, it's important to remember um, we touched on this on our on our uh, previous uh, episode, but it's important to remember that you can't change props. Um, any prop that you pass down into uh, another another component, like you, there's nothing you can do to change this. So don't try. Um, the idea is that because the data flows unidirectionally, like from the top down, you're going to be able to uh, change, you know, one, you're going to be able to change things on the level that they are, are created, but not on the level below. And we'll get into changing uh, things when we get into our stateful components, which will be the next episode. Um, but for now, just know that you're not going to be able to change your props, and that's a good thing because it's going to make your application a lot more predictable. Okay, so next we're going to look at how we can actually um, do callbacks. So um, if you do need to do something in a lower level component that, uh, that a higher level component responds to, a really good way, a proven way that JavaScript has is callbacks. Um, and so we're basically here, we're uh, creating this greet button and whenever the greet button is pressed, we're going to call this callback. It's a, it's a prop that we're passing in called onPress. And so when uh, onPress is called, um, it's going to be called using this function that we're passing from the app component down into the greet component. And so whenever you press it, it's going to give you an alert, and it's going to say, good day to you. I think I'm blocking alerts right now, but uh, it would say, good day to you, and um, and then it would, uh, and then you would be able to. Uh, basically, this is how you would communicate from a higher component to a lower component. And if you're using a stateful component, um, like if the app was a stateful component, we would actually be able to change our state based on um, what's uh, in the callback here. So um, this is a really important uh, concept to grasp when you're using React because you're going to be using a lot of callbacks, um, especially in your functional lower level components. So it's important to get that early on. So uh, this is everything about um, the basics of using functional components. Um, in, in our next episode, we're going to look at stateful components and uh, how we can actually change the state of our application.